Welcome to CW 5.5. Today we're going to be talking about exponential equations and logarithmic equations. So to start, we'll go to a classic. You did this last year, but we're going to review it. We're going to solve this equation for x using a u substitution. This is a very important technique that you've been learning for the past couple of years, so I want to make sure we have it down in pre-calc. We're going to let u equal e to the x. And you typically want to make u equal to the middle term because when I square it, I get e to the 2x like that. So when I plug it in, I get u squared minus 4u plus 3. Now I can factor this. So I get u minus 3, u minus 1. So u should be equal to 3 or 1. Now, of course, you have to understand that that's not the final answer. You have to write e to the x equals 3, because that was u right here. And draw a line. e to the x equals 1. So at this point, now we can solve. So you can do the same thing we did last class. You can add ln to both sides for here, or natural log. Move the x, x times natural log of e equals natural log 3. That's, of course, 1. So x is natural log 3. And on this one, we can solve in our head. We can see that x should be 0. So x is natural log 3 or 0. And there's our answer. One thing to be careful of, so we'll put a note. If you ever get something exponential like e to the x, that would equal a negative number. Make sure you know that this is impossible, that anything to a power, so let's say like a to the x, this can never be a negative number. So let's be aware of that as you're working on your problems. Let's go to our next example, solving logarithmic equations. So to do this, you just got to remember this property, log base a of b equals x. We can change that to exponential form, which is a to the x equals b. So let's make a, really, make a little note here for yourself. Right about there. So let's change this to exponential form. 4 to the 2 equals x plus 3. So 16 must be x plus 3. x equals 13. There's our answer. For this one, let's divide the 3. So natural log of 2x, that's equal to 4. And you have to remember that natural log has a base of e. So if you want, you can draw a little e right there. So that would be e to the 4 equals 2x. So x should equal e to the 4th power over 2. And there's our answer. Let's go to the next example. Solving a logarithmic equation. So really it's the same ideas right here. So I'll just grab it. We're going to do that same idea. Now in order to use this idea, notice how it's a single log, which means we got to combine these two. So we'll combine it using our log property. That's going to be x squared minus 7x. Recall that when you're adding, that means you have to multiply the things on the inside for a log. That's going to equal 3. Now we're going to convert to exponential form. So 2 to the 3, that's equal to x squared minus 7x. And now it should look pretty familiar. We have a quadratic. So we move the 8. We factor. And x is equal to 8 and negative 1. Now for logs, it's extremely important that we check our answers. Now what I mean by that is that if you have a log, you cannot log a negative number. This is what we're looking for right here. This can't happen because it breaks the domain of a log. 
So what you want to do is you check each number, you plug it in, and make sure the outcome is positive. So let's check 8. You plug in 8 right here, that's okay. Plug in 8 right here, that's also okay. So 8 works. Now plug in negative 1. So immediately I can see if you plug in negative 1, that's going to be negative. So I will cross out negative 1. That's not going to work. Now you want to make a note here. It doesn't mean that all neg negatives don't work. Let's say it were like this, log base 2 of x plus 5. In this case, x could be negative 1. Because if you plug it in, you get 4. You just got to recall the domain. The domain of this is x has to be greater than negative 5. So that's what I mean when we say check our answers. It's really just checking the domain of your problem. Now let's go to our last example. To do this problem, we're going to do this simple concept. If natural log A equals natural log B, our conclusion is that A must equal B. So I think you can draw a rectangle here. So right here, I can see that I'm going to combine the two logs on the left. <clears throat> so using division, we'll write natural log x plus 2 over 4x plus 3. That should equal natural log 1 over x. Now let's get rid of these logs. So x plus 2 over 4x plus 3 equals 1 over x. Let's cross multiply. So x times x plus 2 should equal 1 times 4x plus 3. And from here, it's just algebra. So we'll just keep going. x squared minus 2x minus 3. That's equal to 0. And once again, we factor. And x is equal to 3 or negative 1. Now recall we got to check. <clears throat> Let's plug in 3. So 3 is OK here. 3 is OK here. 3 checks out over here. Negative 1. So negative 1 is OK right here. Negative 1 is not OK here and not OK here. Because you get negative 4 plus 3, negative 1, and that would make negative 1 here. So both those don't work. So 3 is our only answer. And we're done.